Hello, Monsters of Ancient, welcome back to Total Warhammer 2 Mortal Empires and part 12 of my Torok the Brass Ball campaign. So we attack Lothurn, which I think it is a unique city. I think it is anyway. I mean, it looks unique outside of the city bounds um, because you can see like the, the sea gates of Lothurn over there. Otherwise, you know, it's pretty much every every siege battle you've ever seen. Never mind. Um, the garrison, though, is beefy. And they have some, some reinforcements. In come the harpies. So attack the Lothurn Sea Guard from behind. They're going to do quite well there because the Lothurn... Oh, and uh, Minotaur's already in. Inside the city, of course they are, because the gate goes down like a sack of shit. And the jam commences as we just basically murder our way through hordes upon hordes of elves as you can watch the number of elves drop significantly very very quickly so much jam so they're going to throw some dragon princes in the dragon princes they're alright they're alright but you know they're up against Minotaurs. It's just not ever going to work for them, really. They would need to be riding actual dragons to have any chance. And they're not. I mean, they're just getting absolutely slaughtered. I mean, that unit has been hacked to pieces in, in a fairly short time. Just leaving big piles of bodies everywhere. They're just feeding more and more units in just to try and hold us at the gates. Um, spoilers! It's not, it's not going to work. Yet more Dragon Princes, and they're throwing yet more Spearmen in. I mean, if Dragon Princes can't stop us, I don't know what Spearmen are going to do. Apart from get, you know, gibletized. And the harp, even the Harpy's getting stuck in. Charging down into the next line. Some units trying to come up the stairs to uh, reinforce the gate, but they're too little too late. Equal bolt throwers just firing randomly. Gee, that's, that was a big explosion. Ooh. Big explosion of jam there. Oh, it really is. It was, it was lost as soon as I decided to attack. There's the general. Uh, uh, what is she, a mage? High mage? I mean, she better be high. It's going to make this entire experience a lot more pleasant. Oh, my God. No, he's all right. Fred's okay. He's getting up. I thought Fred was down, but he's okay. And, yep. Carnage completes. <laughs> it's just... So many bodies. <laughs> oh my god. Look at the carnage. It's so good. Uh, I love Minotaur so much. Oh, I really do. It just never gets old. Like you think, uh, just, just murdering everyone must get old eventually. And it's like, nope, nope. It's, it never gets old. It's, it's still really satisfying to see big piles of bodies just littering the ground after our horde of Minotaurs have been through with them. So we're charging towards what the city centre, the last few defenders. Uh, there's a dragon and a couple of grey eagles in there, plus some bolt throwers who have been chucking bolts at us, which is quite obnoxious, frankly. Down with that sort of thing. In comes an eagle. I mean, that's just... That's just chicken nuggets for everyone, isn't it? They're throwing everything they've got, but Torok is in there, and uh, his, his weapon strength is, is obscene. So basically, everything there is just getting absolutely minced. That dragon's going down. Chicken nuggets are down. Reaper, like no, the eagle claw bolt throwers, legging it. And uh, yeah, army shattered, leaving big piles of bodies scattered behind.
We're going to need some more harpies. But, I mean, it's fair play to them. 179 kills. If I can just stop them from dying horribly, then, uh, you know, could be on to a winner there. Uh, let's raise it. Well, we're going to raise it either way. Let's loot it and then raise it. And then we'll get ourselves some more harpies. Because I quite like my harpies. I like my harpy babes. Um, I say babes. I mean, you know, la ladies. And um, much to discuss about our most welcome. is that because I keep giving you big wads of money? I keep stuffing it down your little vampire cod piece, don't I? You quite enjoy it. Because I'm your little sugar daddy. Your little horny sugar daddy. So should have should have gone with Hoofy. Hoofy sugar? Yep, that works. Good. Good, good, good. Right, we're going to wait for another sea... Uh, do, I, do I need a siege tower here? Why was I waiting for siege towers? Was I waiting for siege towers for a reason? What was I thinking? Can anyone tell me what my thinking... I can't remember what I was thinking, so I think I'll just attack it. Just bring another Saigor to help out. Just chuck some more rocks. Leaving. I'm um, getting you're getting a fair few good hits there. Actually, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Um, something else I noticed on this map. I don't. I mean, it, it, you know, it, it's just that this notice board seems overly large. I don't know because there's like a man, right? That's well. I mean, I think it's like what's left of a man. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean that. I mean, realistically, who's going to use that notice board? It's huge. It's massive. No, 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 you need a ladder to actually reach it. It's mental. It's just too big. I'm going to submit a bug report and get them to reduce the size of that uh, notice board. Okay, here comes Korok's Man Rippers. They're doing okay, getting stuck in against those swordsmen. Yeah, they're going to be mincing everyone to get that. They're, they're actually doing quite well, these guys. They actually, um, they actually get shit done. It's pretty good. Here comes our Minotaurs to hit the gate. The Cygors continuing to chuck rocks at anyone who looks at them funny. And they've only got one eye, so it's very difficult to tell who is looking at them, you know? We're going to bring our Gauls up into the wall. They're just going to climb up using magical ladders, which is fine. And we're going to try and concentrate some of these rocks. Oh, good hits. Look at that. It's raining men. Hallelujah. In comes Morty. Lovely. That's looking pretty good. Oh, careful with those rocks. Oof. Okay, ke ke guys, careful with the rocks. You don't want to hit your your own size. God, I think you just took out half of Korok's Man Rippers. They, they won't appreciate that. Chuck your rocks somewhere else. Try and miss the Minotaurs as well. Oh, bloody hell, that was a good hit. Straight through the wall. Straight through. The it's probably a magical wall, like in Harry Potter. That would be my guess. Uh, so we've got a general of the Empire who's getting trodden on, which is fine. And the Minotaur's heading for the city centre, as is tradition. Elsewhere, our Gauls climbing up onto the wall and taking out these halberdiers. Korok's Man Rippers, despite taking a couple of rocks to the noggin, seem to be doing okay. You know, they're fine. It was an accident. It, you know, these, you know, you, you chuck boulders around. Someone's bound to get a boulder on the head occasionally. It's fine. Oof. Good shot. And you missed the man rippers as well. Guys, stop throwing rocks at the map. Guys. Uh oh. Ooh. Okay, we might have to be care more careful with rocks, potentially. Never mind. Um, here comes the Minotaurs towards the city centre. Led by Mutaheads. I don't think you will. Yeah, they're getting... They're getting minced. Um, I, I, I think... I think Korok's Man Rippers took another boulder, because um, there's only 14 of them left. I think the Cygors have been the most effective thing at killing Korok's Man Rippers. Never mind, there's plenty of gores left, assuming we stop throwing rocks at them. Um, 
it's it's fine. It's, it's all good. Minos was taking the city center, just chasing down some fleeing units. There's a few spearmen over there, but they t uh, the city center's ours. It's just a few more units left to uh, finish off, and the balance of power should shift in our favor. We've just got some spearmen meandering. I don't know what they're doing, or what they think they're doing. They're just sort of like marching around in a big square. The gods have abandoned us. Yes. We're going to bring in the Gauls to hit them. There we go. And it looks like they are routing. Looks like they're shattered. I think that's it. I think we've managed to break the enemy army. Well, I mean, despite expertly or inexpertly lobbing rocks at my own best to go units um that went fine i don't like were, were the cycles aiming like d d does dave mark and jeremy and the eye of more slip do they are that do they and the korox man rippers have they got beef get it beef because they're the the cow pick people anyway so i'm gonna raise into file Whistling's dead. That's good. Rupert's dead as well. That's double good. And I'm doing that because I need some more growth in this army, ideally, because I would like to get the Mound of Blades. So let's get the Mound of Blades. Mound of Blades and Pit of Flesh. That's, uh... You never see that on changing rooms, do you? You never... You never saw a big old pile of flesh or a big old pile of blades. Sorry, it's Pit of Flesh, isn't it? Of course... You have to dig a hole and then fill it with flesh. Whereas just the blades just stick in a pile. Obviously. It just makes sense. Otherwise, it just looks stupid. Um, let's go with... So we got the bonus for Psyg... What the... Um, melee attack missile resistance and speed for Psygors. It's not that useful. Let's go with... Let's go with Shadow Hide. A little bit of missile resistance. Never hurt anyone. In fact, it stopped people from getting hurt, which is why it's a good idea. A desecrated altar. Um, yeah, alright. Let's build one of them. Why not? I could build a giant building. I don't know if I want it, though. What else could we build? Is there anything that's actually going to be useful for us? Fuck it. Let's get a giant's lair. Why not? Maybe I can replace my harpies with giants. I mean, I quite like my harpies, but, you know, giants. Yeah? Yeah? You're thinking... I'm thinking giants. We go giants? Should we go giants? Let's go giants. Uh, let's get a little bit more... What's our leadership here? 97. Yeah, that's pretty... Pretty good. Oh, look. Lizard men have apparently... They're what? Oh, they are at war, aren't they? That's interesting. A bit weird. Never mind. I'm tempted to get giants now. Uh, Motorheads, or sorry, I say Motorheads, sorry. Uh, get Devolve. And Al Gorbal. Primal Instincts. Sure. It looks like Vlad is uh, setting himself up, which I really like. I like that. We're going to. I mean, it, it, it means that he's keeping the Empire busy, or at least not letting them resettle. Which is my main issue. There we go. So he's taking all those settlements for us. Which is really, really useful. And also, he'll start declaring war on, on the Empire factions and then killing them for us. And all we have to do is feed him a shit ton of money. Easy peasy. I wonder what strength rank he is. Oh, what's this? Uh, assured leadership. Oh, that's, yeah, I'll reject. Yeah, reject chaos. Suck a dick. Um, right, oh, here we go, the sword hungers. So, we can keep the sword, and that's going to make things worse for us, but... I mean, public order. We don't have public order. Upkeep, pfft, and diplomatic relations. Who gives a shit? I'm keeping it. So, now we have even more weapon strength. Uh, what is Torox weapon strength? Let's have a quick look. Oh, because it takes one turn to shift over, but it's going to give him 550 additional weapon strength. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sure sure that's that's totally sane no problem can you reach that you can't 
you can't reach it, but you could do a little bit of raiding and that would be somewhat good. Go and just burn some shit. I'm just going to make the High Elves' lives a misery. They're going to resettle everything, but I'm going to make them wish they, you know, they were dead. You're now strength rank 12. You're doing pretty well for yourself now. Look at that. Holy shit. I mean, let's have a quick look at strength rank. So, dwarves are number one. That's no surprise. Nagron. Talabeklin's number three. Really? Ugh. Got a, got a stamp on that. Um, Ostland. We need to kill them. Hagrief. That's not a big deal. Huatl is seven. So, we don't know... Four, five, or six, or eight, and nine. So, I mean, I'm not super invested in finding out. It would be nice to know, but I don't. I'm not super bothered. Oh, God, is that Vashnar? Okay, at least he's miles away. That guy's literally the worst, I swear. That guy. What a jerk. I pray her died. I'm not super surprised by that. Now, people have said that it wrecks blah, 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 blah. Who cares? Holy shit, yeah. So basically, if your Bray her dies, I think before rank, before 10 turns have passed, which I'll be honest, I don't know a Bray her that survived more than 10 turns. Basically, it counts as you breaking your alliance with your own Bray herd, and so it destroys your reliability. The fuck? What the f God. Guys. Guys. Honest to God. Jesus. G Whoa. That's big money. I'll take that. I'll take that. It's, uh, it's some lizard boys. Some lizardy boys. You've got literally every skill point apart. I, I give you one point in training for no particular reason. There you go. And I mean, I meant to do some renaming and I forgot, but that should come as no surprise. So, uh, good. Good, good, good. Right now, Morty, you, my fine friend, one, we need to get out of Vlad territory because basically it's, it's causing him public order problems but he's, he's, he's sorting it out he's getting he's getting a, he's getting on top of it which is good i think he's also about to throw some stuff at um at balthazar which is really really good I, I, i'm hoping he can do that you have some more money i do insist take my cash i've got so much don't know what to do with it Hello? Adelia? God, I'm terrible at ambushing, but then I'm, you know, I've got an army full of very, very angry... Very, very, very angry... cow people, so it's not a huge surprise. I'm just going to water resolve that, because that... Oh, my harpy side. Oh, well. Okay, good. Yeah, we got revealed. Bit of a problem, never mind. We've got more evasion when using beast paths. Good. More Winds of Magic. We've got a War Banner. All that kind of good stuff. Let's keep investigating. Jeez, Vashnar has, has captured a lot of shit. That's a pro How many settlements have you got? Eight? Eight settlements? Holy crap, you're basically a minor power. Good grief. Hello. There's... Lizard people here. Um, I'm not... Oh, sh should I kill lizard people? I'm kind of like, yeah, I'm going to declare war on them. I don't really... Yeah, let's get everyone to join in. Bop. Let's kill them. I'm going to declare war on the lizard men as well because I'm like, why not? Let's raise and defile. And then in camp. And how long is it going to... It's two turns to recruit a giant. I kind of want to recruit a giant. Like, 
It's probably better to recruit more minor tools, but I kind of want a giant. But let, let's just get another harpy, because my harpies are really useful at sieges. And uh, we are just running around. Do I need... I don't really need to build that, do I? It's not really... I don't really need it. It's... It, I'm not using Chaos Spawn. I used plenty of Chaos Spawn in my Morgur campaign, which was... which was fun. But Chaos Spawn are not Minotaurs. Ugh. Ah, uh, Nussbacker! Okay, Nussbacker. Okay, skedaddle over there. Do a little hidden encampment. Right, what are objectives? Objectives, right, we just need a little bit more raid income. That's fine. Uh, oh, that's a long camp. I was like, no, we don't have d dwarves. No! J no, it's fine. We only have to kill the Empire factions. Um, which is looking pretty. You know, not, not too bad, actually. And we need to raise 33 settlements. Um, well, 40 settlements. We're currently at 33. Getting through there. No problem. And... You're going to have primal instinct. Yes, you are. Good. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, I meant to do research. Not that it's, you know, I don't need the research. I've got a stack of minotaurs. Speak. You want money for an non-aggression pact. Um, I mean, you're up against Vashnar, aren't you? I'm going to say no. Just because I don't really care whether you live or die. Alright. I'm not that invested. If anything, it just means that um, Vlad is now at war with a lot of people. But then I paid him a lot of money, so frankly, he he should just, you know, accept the fact that he's now at war with a shit ton of people. Oh, we're trapped by the settlement. This is kind of annoying when you get trapped in the settlement. Well, I mean, we, we can basically just burn this. Are you a special boy? Mark of Assyrian. I think you are. Let's kill you and see what happens. Raisins of fire. Tells protection. Doom revealed. So the Phoenix Guard received a vision of the demise from Assyrian himself. If so, it certainly did not prepare the captain for his doom. Nope. And we've got flaming attacks. So you now have flaming magical discouraging attacks. I mean... Sure. That... I mean, that works. I'm, I'm all about that. That's fine. Uh, right. You, oof. Oh, God, that looks horrible. I mean, we'll probably be okay. Let's not ask our allies to help, because I don't want Vlad. Right, now they've got a lot of stuff here. Um, the Hellstorm rocket batteries in particular are quite nasty. We're going to take a lot of damage, but I think Morty can do this. Plus, we've got Cygors, so... This army looks quite nasty. I certainly don't want to have to march through those Hellstorm rocket batteries, but fortunately, I won't have to because I've been sneaky. That's right. Our Gauls are hiding in the forest on their flank, and they have been spotted, but our units are going to be all over them. What that's going to do is cause the AI to panic. They're going to start bringing some of their artillery round to bear to try and deal with what's going on over here. That's going to give our Minotaurs and uh, Koroks Manrippers free reign to advance forward. Our Cygors also advancing forward a little bit slowly, though. We're trying to get as many units of the Gore Herd around the back of the units as possible. We might have to fight these great swords. Obviously, our goals won't do particularly well against them, but um, it'll brace scream there. But if we could just get some units in around behind them, then when our Minotaurs hit them, they'll be hitting them in the rear, and that's going to cause all kinds of chaos. And here we go. slamming right into the back of these units is going to cause all kinds of chaos all kinds of panic i mean the steam tanks are quite nasty but actually against minotaurs not so much of a problem because obviously minotaurs can do so much damage and it's going to be armor piercing look at these great swords trapped between gauze and minotaurs already starting to retreat 
over on this flank. Our cycles are now in range and chucking rocks, hopefully missing most of our units. But, um, you know, if, if you can't smash an Empire army without breaking a few gores. Come on, get some nice... I want some, I want some nice big rocks. Oh, this one's looking good. This one's looking good. Oh, nice hit. That's going to really fertilise that field. Probably. It's absolute carnage. Those gores... Vanguard deploying have uh, have really done the business. I mean, yes, they, they didn't... I mean, they themselves didn't do a huge amount of damage, but they didn't need to. They just caused chaos in the enemy formation, and that was just enough to then let the Minotaurs get in around and behind. And the Empire army was crushed. That was, I mean, that was a tough fight for little Morty. But uh, one he won quite handily. I mean, the Gauls took a bit of damage, but to be honest, they're pretty, you know, we can replace those if they die, so it's not really a big deal. And let's raise and loot. I thought he got a skill point then. No, I mean, a trait. I was like, that guy was Nussbacker? I mean, Nussbacker should give you a trait. Should be called Nussbacker with lots of exclamation marks. I should mod that in. Um, against anyone with the name of Nussbacker. What are we like here? Uh, that's quite nice. The Blood Caller. Just makes him a little bit more killy and it ranks up as well, makes him cause terror. That's all right, isn't it? I'll have that one. And, oh, Blood Greed. More melee attack, more charge bonus. And Mutahead is he's got all his spells. So let's give him Deadly Blade, who's so a bit more killy. That's all good. We'll do a little encampy as well. And we've already you know, I mean it looks like Talabeklan's quite strong, so we do need to take them down a peg or two. I'm hoping that uh, Vlad, considering we've been funneling so much money to him, can uh start and let us discuss mutually basically start pulling his weight. Because I've been giving him a lot of stuff. Let's go Primal Instincts. Do we have actually any... Um... Oh, we got... Did you get two skill points? Let's make you immortal. Do we have any decent like weapons or stuff? Oh, we do have this. And apparently you can just give it to anyone. Okay, let's give it to Mutalica then. That works. Obsidian Trinket. Garbage. Have a Talisman of Protection. And have a Pendant of Slanesh. Because why not? And poison attacks. And some more income. Ch -ch -chaw. That works. And... Oh god, like... Enchanted shield? What does Mutalica have? Uh, missile resistance isn't the worst thing for you. I mean... It, it's it's fine. Um, have one of them. More chaos corruption in the region? Probably. We haven't got magic items we're, we're kind of struggling with. We haven't got very many good ones. It's a bit of a bugger. A bit of a bugger. Uh, more leadership... Oh, more campaign movement range would be quite nice. Experience gain per turn. That would be quite good for our harpies, who I seem to go through quite quickly for whatever reason. So we've been revealed. Now that, I mean... When I started, I was kind of like... Is removing the movement requirement for encampment is that kind of broken? Because it does mean you can hide whenever you like. But you get hit, you get spotted quite easily. To be honest, oh, Kislev's dead. Apparently, uh, stench of blood greed. What's that do? Recruitment cost minus reduction. I mean, yeah. Jesus, Varg. Good grief, guys. Are these guys all allied? Paravon, Are you allied with literally everyone. I can't talk to you. What about Bastone? Can I talk to Bastone? Hello? Ba anyone? Can I? No. Literally can't. Right. You're allied with some fact. I think apparently Varg just went mad. Just decided to declare war on everyone. 
Fair enough. I, you know, that I can kind of get behind that. I can kind of get behind that. Let's skedaddle over here to work bad. We're just going to encamp up and heal up, and then we'll go for work bad. Apparently, we got spotted, but um, you didn't care. You've just decided just to set up house here, so I guess we'll just kill you and then raise it again. Tor Sethai has been, you know, rigorously defiled. It, it's had a good old defiling multiple times. At least our harpies are all gold chevron now. Look at that. Look at that. I mean, they've got 58 melee attack, 47 melee defense, only 30 armor. But for a flying unit, that's really good. I mean, you can't... I mean, that's that's pretty good. That, that's that's all right. Do we want to go over and just burn down, you know, some Lizmen stuff just for... Just for funsies. Should we do that? Ozzy Oxborn. What are we going to do with you? Going to come down here. Have a look around. Looks like there's just Queek down there. That's fine. Can we actually recruit anyone else? Or we could get some more Gorbals. Should we get Ram Heartrender? I mean, you know, re rending, rending the old hearts. He's a Heartrender. It's not a good thing. Let's merge you two. And then I'm going to kick you out. And we're going to get Ram in there. So we've got a couple of gore balls each. I could get another gore ball over here. Like, if we... If, right, if, if if one with extra weapon strength comes along, we're, we're getting it, basically. We are... We are getting that gore ball so hard. Not We're not getting it. We, we, we will acquire that... You know what I mean. Hello? Uh-oh. Have we been spotted? Oh, no, we're coming in as reinforcements for uh, for our Bray Herd. That's... Oh, my God, it's Marius. Marius Leapdorf. We could leave our Bray Herd to die, but I think we're going to have to go and help it. Um, This could well be quite a bloody battle. On the other hand, they don't... I mean, they... They don't have much... They've got a lot of heroes here for some reason, but not much in the way of melee infantry. But they do have a lot of rocket launchers. So that could be fun. And it's Marius Leetdorf as well. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay. It's going to be It's going to be tricky. It's going to be tricky. But if we can just let our, you know, Bray Herd go and suicide itself, and then we can come in behind... We might be alright. Unfortunately, that is going to have to wait until next time. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.